Okay, so this is 8-1. Problem 8-1 here. And what we're looking at is this circuit and we want to find all of these things. So we'll start by finding the current at zero plus and the voltage at zero plus and then we want the derivatives with respect to time. The derivatives, derivative of the current at zero plus with respect to time and the derivative of the voltage here of uh, with respect to time. And then lastly, the current and the voltage way in the future. So very far in the future at time equals infinity. So let's go ahead and start on part A. Now in part A, we must analyze this circuit for T zero minus. Right? This is what we want to analyze uh, for T is less than zero. So for T zero minus, and if we do that, this switch here opens at zero. So it is closed to start off. So it is closed to start off here. And so what we have is for t less than zero, let's draw the circuit. So if we draw this circuit, we have our voltage source. And then here, now the inductor acts like a short circuit if it's in steady state. And then lastly, we have our resistor. And the capacitor will act like an open circuit. So we have V here, and then we also have I here. This is four ohms, and this is six ohms. So, if we want to figure out I zero plus, all of the current is going through here. So the current comes here, here, here and here. The current here is zero because of this open circuit. Okay, so by knowing that, we know that the current I at Z, the current I at zero minus is equal to our voltage 12 volts divided by our resistance six ohms, and that is two amps. So two amps of current here. Now, what is our voltage at zero minus? What is our voltage? Well, we have the voltage here, but since no current is going this way, the voltage across this, the voltage drop across here is zero the voltage drop across this resistor is zero. So what we're looking for is the voltage here, the voltage here. And if we take a look, that is 12 volts because this is 12 volts and it's connected here. So this voltage here at time zero minus is 12 volts. Okay. And because this is a capacitor, and this is an inductor, there the current through the capacitor must be continuous, or the current, the current through the inductor must be continuous. So we have I zero minus must equal I zero plus, which is two amps. And then we have the voltage across the capacitor is the same thing, zero plus, and that is equal to 12 volts. So we have that, and that is part A. That's this part. So check that. Now let's take a look at our part B where we want the derivatives with respect to time. The derivatives with respect to time. So we have 
here, we need to analyze this circuit for t is greater than zero. So for t is greater than zero, this opens up and we only have this part of the circuit. So let's redraw that circuit for t is greater than zero. So we have a resistor, we have our capacitor, and then we have our another resistor and then or I'm sorry, this is the inductor, this is the capacitor. Okay, inductor, capacitor. And we have our voltage across here, and this is four ohms, this is six ohms, and this is two Henry. Okay, and this is I, I, and then this is V, and this is, is 0.4 farads, so point four farads here, point four. Okay, so how do we do this? Well, we can write a, uh, a loop equation here. So we can go, um, let's draw a loop here. And we can draw this clockwise or counterclockwise. I'm gonna draw it this way. And I'm gonna just call this I1, okay? And we're gonna do KVL, KVL. So starting here, going up to here, we have this inductor, inductor. And we know that the voltage through that inductor the voltage through the inductor, remember the voltage is one over, or I'm sorry, L, L, D, I, D, T here. That's the voltage through the inductor. So we have the uh, KVL here. So we're, let's go from here up. So that remember using this KVL, we have here, we have two, that's L, times di dt, and then we have plus six times I1, and this is I1 as well here. And next we have plus four times I1. And then lastly, we have the voltage across here, and we can just say that's the voltage of the capacitor. Let's just write that as, and that's going from positive to negative here, positive to negative. So that's an addition of V of the capacitor, the voltage of the capacitor. And we set that equal to zero. Now at time equals zero plus here, we already have these, these things. So I is two amps. So I is equal to two amps, which means I1 is equal to negative two amps because it is in a different direction here. So let's go ahead and sub this in. And we also know our voltage here. So that is 12, 12 volts. So we have two times di dt at zero plus, plus six times I1, which is negative two, plus four times negative two, plus 12 equals zero. Now let's take a look and what that comes out to be. That is negative 12, that's negative eight, so that's negative 20, plus 12 is negative eight, so di zero plus dt, I believe comes out to f negative or positive. So that's negative. Um, di one dt is positive four amps per second. But what we want is 
di dt at zero plus and that is negative four amps per second because these two are opposite directions those two are opposite directions so that's one answer here now let's continue on to i'm going to erase this and what we're going to do is try to find our next part of the problem which is dv zero plus dt and to do that we're going to do a kvl kvl and so we're going to call this i and then we'll call the current through here i1 and we're going to do uh k i'm sorry kcl kcl we're going to do kcl kirchhoff's current law up here so if we do that we have in minus out equals zero and then up here we have uh, two currents going out two currents going out so that is negative this i and we know that one at at t equals zero plus this current here is equal to uh, two amps two amps so that is going out is two amps over here and this one here the current the current is then uh, what is that equal to well we have the current through this one so that's negative and the current through that is c dv dt at zero plus All right c dv dt and that is equal to zero for kcl and we know that this value here is 0.4 so solving this we have dv dt at zero plus is equal to negative is equal to a negative what's that come out to be a negative five volts per second negative five volts per second so this is part b of the problem we have those two and then the last one part c here we want i at time infinity and v at time infinity so at time infinity we still have this scenario four ohms and six ohms and this is i and this is v and it's not connected to anything so at time infinity time infinity the resistors here are going to be depleting the energy the resistors take all the energy out the resistors create heat that take the energy out so at that at time infinity the current is zero and the voltage here at time infinity is zero so that is the third part of the problem so we have all three of those solved